please leave a message after the Oxfam just released a new study comparing the financial gains of the richest against the poorest for the last year. And you, you, there was a long clip about this. People are just so surprised. I think the world's riches have doubled. To f I think it was from five to 16 or something like that. And the taxes on them are getting even less. Hmm. And as a guy, as I clip just mentioned, you know, Jeff Bezos, if he gave that 0.1%, it would, you know, save a couple million lives. And people just saw this study like, this is just, just insane. People are calling for a hard tax on the rich because the reason why, another reason I brought this up, mm. there's a lot of young people now, especially tech companies that are becoming billionaires. You know, like we spoke about, uh, was it Kylie Jenner? Mm. Who's just become one of the youngest millionaires ever. Self-made billionaires. Quote, self unquote, quote, self unquote, self unquote, self-made self billionaires. That was a fun episode, actually. Yeah, okay. <laughs> She's another one that, you know, if she gave 0.0.1%, she could save a whole country, stuff like that. Yeah. So people are just arguing about, you know, we because the rich are having more tax havens, they're getting richer and poor people are suffering even more. We're going to get to a story about Nigeria, which is truly, I was so enlightening. We're actually going to, when we speak on the Nigeria, so we'll come back to this as well. But I mean, hearing this, that double the billionaires in the world, double the rich people in the world, they're getting more tax breaks. I don't know how you guys feel about taxing the rich more because even though uh, the world government are thinking about this and pe people are thinking about this more and more, more people being born, more people are suffering, more tax havens for the rich. I mean, mm. what do you guys think? Well, there's, okay. there's, no, there's, a, <laughs> no, there's a lot to, um, there's a lot to unpack there because there is a, a, there is a bit of a dichotomy there. The first point being um, over the past, what well, I would say 50 years, um, most um, people in abject poverty, I'll probably say, from what I heard from a stat, um, for, oh, I, forgot the, I forget this professor's name, 85% of the population of the world were in abject poverty. There's only about 13% that you could say that were living in relative wealth, a uh, bit in a lot of the, um, you know, for example, or, you know, Western nations and whatnot, but they've come out of that, you know, what with, you know, um, enhanced and improved, you know, technology sure. and whatnot. That, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's, that's that one side there, but putting that aside, yeah. income inequality is obviously in, in, increased, you know, exponentially over yeah. the past, what to say, um, 30, 30 years, I'd say, you know, I think that definitely from the, the eighties onwards, when there was kind of that whole mantra of greed is good, you know, so neoliberal um, uh, economics. Gordon, Gordon Gekko. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. <laughs> it, it, it was basically the whole idea that, you know, um, capitalism has to be f uh, free market capitalism. Yeah. Uh, you know, mm. everyone thought it was an, uh, you know, I mean, uh, the earth is an, you know, infinite resource. And, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. uh, we can all, you know, just basically consume, consume and let, you know, let it be unregulated there. With, uh, with, I, the, with I, no, hear, I hear Jody saying zero or some game here for some reason. Well, no, for <laughs> I was going to say, for free, uh, with, uh, when unregulated, I mean, it, then that this is what becomes of what we're seeing now. Uh, be it by saying that because there's this whole strange idea that trickle down economics will work where they'll say like hey the super rich let's say uh, Jeff Bezos there mm. will uh, basically it will come down to the rest but no if anything it's the opposite billionaires are actually becoming you know less and less from what I hear, uh, I know that less and less what. Well, but basically, there used to be more. Uh, there, there used to be more people, but basically, um, the, the proportions of them, uh, they're, they're just hoarding it more and more. Yeah, yeah. And and now it's just the case where you know you're finding this massive, you know, you know uh, and now that you see, for instance, 2008, mm. people are kind of turning against it. Yeah. Obviously, again, wrong targets. What happens? You go for anyone who's black or brown or you know mi minorities, whatever, yeah. you know, rather than attacking what is clearly a broken system. It's still happening now. Uh, people turn to nationalism and it will get worse, but it's it's an ugly thing. But yeah, I mean, but people still are yet to recognize it. Yeah. Can I ask you a question, Jody? What? Do you believe in communism? <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, you know, I, I believe one thing with that uh, Karl Marx's um, deconstruction of capitalism, I think is great. His solution is, you know, for me, horrifying. What was? Uh, I have no what, idea what that is. By the way, you've lost me. Well, okay, like, but, okay. For example, <laughs> hey, I, won't, I won't go into it. But you okay. know, China, Russia. I mean, you'd see well, Stalin. You know, Mao. I mean, the yeah. millions have died. Yeah, of for course. For the idea of perfection, that yeah, that's what it. that's where it leads to. But yeah, you know, sure. this free market capitalism, it's leading to you know, it, it's 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 having you know a pernicious effect, and it's slowly, it's slowly affecting. Um, what, having a, a negative effect where it's, it's going to lead to we're going down to well 
long story short, we're going down a negative path right now. All right, Stanley, yeah. what's your thoughts? Yeah, um, yeah, we're going down a negative path. Uh, things are only going to get worse. And um, thanks, to, guys. To, to, to to let's, <laughs> let's end the podcast. Here. You can listen to the voice of my podcast. It's all over. <laughs> <laughs> listen, it's, it is what it is. And let me go a, a little different direction from what Jody was saying as well. It's going to get worse because the people who are reporting this kind of stuff, Oxfam, who I'm sure people are aware have not covered themselves in glory in, the, in recent times yeah. <laughs> with uh, things that people have found out. Uh, I think people forget people who work at charities at the very top level mm-hmm. get paid ridiculous amounts oh, of money. Oh, I, I hate these guys. And, yeah. the, and they yeah. probably, the person who wrote that frigging report probably mm-hmm. has shares in, in some kind of private equity firm yeah. you know, or some yeah. kind of uh, yeah. New York Stock Exchange company. Mm. So that is the irony that we're living in. People, it's always, it's been going on since forever. We talk about the uh, the wealthy and the poor, the haves and the haves nots, the ever growing gap between the rich and the poor, and it doesn't like nothing happens. And especially in the in a country like America, you heard it yourself. They said that the the tax rate for the very richest people yeah. was about seventy yeah. percent, such and such years ago, and now it's like thirty something, double, which it, it, half, half, so, sorry, half. Sorry. <laughs> I know you backwards. Yeah. So <laughs> and so it's like, when are these people gonna? Like and don't wake know, up and smoke don't know the coffee. Those interests He's, exactly, and then you've got people who are MAGA, the MAGA folks, make America great again. His supporters who don't like, you know what I mean? Don't it's understand. Like, this they is even though yeah. the bottom, they they don't understand that he's looking. This is the him. stuff of yeah. movies. This is the stuff of dystopian movies. I think I honestly think that we are going in this direction, and we saw like um, the Arab Spring. Back in, I can't even remember, 20, I think I was still in uni back then or just after. But I think stuff like that could happen further down the line. What do you mean, the Arab Spring? So that, so, so that was um, like you, your everyday average uh, Arab person um, basically revolting against the, the their leaders mm-hmm. because of things like corruption, because of things like um, lack of education, yeah. uh, lack of jobs, etc., etc. And when people in the West and not even just the West, other c- countries as well that have similar problems and it's just kind of boiling over and we're going to talk about a country I- I- shortly where you I know what it's so funny I didn't, I didn't even bring up the Venezuela update which is massive right yeah, now what's happening in Venezuela nah, yeah know. but um my last again I didn't want to spend, spend too long on this but uh, my thoughts on this is and I, I kind of wanted to pose it to you guys that we've got Donald Trump here you know uh, apparently right wing selfish republic president who's only in for business to make himself popular i always wonder like i don't the reason why i don't believe in communism and the reason i I watch a lot of documentaries about communism because you know good in concept but it's never worked in it's led to some of the most horrendous um genocide tragedies whatever you want to call it in in history it's just because someone's always going to be human and greedy and a lot of these you know that's it yeah people Mm -hmm. are going to be corrupt they won't share they won't they won't divvy up they someone's always at the top of the chain it's never equal. No matter what they say, it's always, always corrupt. So what uh, what can you do? You know, mm. socialism, communism, all that stuff. So if there was like a president that was the opposite of Trump, like he wanted to be like a communist, he wanted all for the people to an extreme where like, you know what? This country needs to be fucking fair. We need to let everyone in. We need to divvy up everything. He's the complete opposite of Trump. Again, this you're swinging both sides of the pendulum, that would be another kind of disaster, obviously, because that would yeah. be another case. Yeah. It could happen. So when I hear this, because people, I think there might be a tipping point. Uh, I don't know where, like when I see Venezuela, what's going on with them, where the, that fake, that guy in charge, who's who's botched and fixed all the elections, and now they've got a new young guy in who's taken office and everyone, all the, I don't want to, I should have got a clip about this. In Venezuela, mm. there's a new uh, interim president that's come out, very young guy, 35. He wants to be the president of Venezuela. All the powers are acknowledging him, Trump, even Trump, all the, because the Venezuelan uh, president, the actual guy, he's a, com- a corrupt monster. You know, the currency's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The currency's yeah. gone, what is it? Two- Inflation two, is two like- Two million. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two million percent in inflation is insane. So, you know, just bringing it on the global scale, hearing this about the poverty increase and double the billionaires. You know, we spoke about, we spoke Kylie Jenner about there's more stuff made billionaires and there's so much more opportunities, capitalism and, you know, anyone, more people are becoming rich now. But still, we got 
overpopulation. There's still more people, poor people. We're going to hear about Nigeria in a minute. I would be for taxing richer people for more. At the end of the day, I'm not rich. I don't really care. I want more people to live. So it's easy for me to say, but I do think there'll be a tipping point. But if things go on, I believe if things keep going this trajectory, and I don't think in our time, by the way, I think in another hundred years, something will just tip over. I think it'll be a lot sooner than that. I think a lot more sooner than that. You think so, yeah? Yeah, because again, the the resources are finite um, in this globe. And uh, I think with, uh, since 2008 onwards, with that economic crash, you could already see the the effects of what's happening there. There will be a reckoning for a lot of people, uh, for a lot of countries out there. You're seeing a lot of strongman politics. Putin, uh, Brazil uh, president, I forget his name, um, from Hungary. um, (laughs) You know, uh, yeah, exactly. You know, um, uh, in the States, obviously with Trump, Brexit. I mean, there is you know a national front in France you know came second you know and they're still you know gaining support same in Spain it, the, this will you know unless the uh, the quote unquote liberal elites uh, you know who are have kind of won the cultural war and they're part of the establishment kind of arrest this and recognize that hey we got to readdress like you know globalization has left a lot of people behind and we got to identify you know we got to spread the wealth so to speak you know or you know then then you know what we we could find ourselves in a more positive hopeful future but the way if they're just saying no no you're easily you can go down which i, I don't like but you could go down identity politics there now they're stupid they're racist they're stu- you know then you know what it that that pressure cooker is going to blow yeah man yeah uh, happy happy <laughs> happy happy joy joy happy happy joy, joy. <laughs> and this was only the second the second story <laughs> oh my god I'm so sorry to drop facts oh my uh, god yeah, no, no. No. Just, you know I need the great. sound I need the sound that says facts <laughs> I definitely need a, 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 guys if you need someone someone find me a sound with the same facts I need to drop it in please leave another message at voice of mail.com